Okay, well, these past two weeks, we've talked about the uh, the bar that you're building over there. We did an overview of the entire store. But uh, this week, I thought it'd be interesting for you to talk to us about what's going on here in this section. Comic books are great, but they're more than just comic books. You know, they're they're beautiful art, and it's more than the storytelling. It's about what's the, the pretty pictures on the page, and you're going to accentuate that with this part of the store. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to build here. Well, sure. In the, in, in the, in the last couple of years, we've seen a big upsurge in, in the popularity of, of pop art as it applies to comic books and uh, and and the films and you know all, all the stuff that's that's representative of that uh, and we felt that uh, a good idea would be to feature a lot of that artwork uh, whether it be sculpture or print ads or just this the stuff that I don't know the visual media uh, outside of the moving picture that we that we see uh, used to apply to this stuff. So we put together, uh, this space is going to be dedicated to the Transmetropolitan Gallery. Uh, and it'll be run by my, uh, my, by my co-founder, Anna Young. Uh, but she is, uh, she's been really active in the art community here locally for years and years and years and has a, a lot of uh, local pull with artists. Um, but we're looking to get uh, both the local and the international artists, like uh, the, the popular and maybe the not so popular, maybe the people that you've never heard of. Uh, in a perfect world, of course, we'd we'd have uh, you know, you know, people like Jim Lee or Mike Mignola or uh, you know James. Uh, but we've we've already talked to people like James Hans, uh, who did Wookie the Chew. Big 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 fan of James's work. Um, a lot of local artists coming to, together. One of our guys that's on board here, uh, Spider, uh, is going to have stuff on on uh, on uh, on display here. But uh, yeah, this entire space here is going to be all about uh, the uh, a, 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 like an upscale. Um, gallery area, and of course the Trans Metropolitan comes from Warren Ellis, our our, our friend and and uh, co-conspirator Warren Ellis. Uh, it's based on his, you know, we drew the name from his book, uh, and it's with his blessing, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, we're really excited about it. Lots of uh, lots of. <laughs> I just can't wait to see it kind of in three dimensions because right now it's just kind of a hole. <laughs> Tell us about. Uh some of the events you'd like to have here on a weekly or a monthly basis based on this corner of the store? Well, we'll definitely be doing themed art events uh, as we've done at other venues that we uh, worked at. Um, you know, uh, you know, we'll do like an 80s, an 80s week where, you know, we do it all themed out 80s. We'll do, uh, if there's a popular movie coming out, you know, like for say Godzilla, we would have done a Godzilla show or you're a kaiju show or, or you know, with Avengers or any of those things coming out. Uh, we can theme the events around those things and uh, give local artists a chance to kind of participate in that and, uh, you know, give us their take on, on, uh, on the theme. Will your store be a location where people can sell their artwork? Absolutely, yeah. We, we work on a, uh, a competitive um, commission rate. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we've, anytime we do a theme show, uh, usually we encourage the, the artists to come up with a price that they're comfortable with, uh, buffer in a little bit of a commission for the, for the venue. But, yeah, that's a, that, is definitely, that is definitely in the cards. Not only will you be seen, but uh, we're going to make you some money, too, which is exciting. So if there are any artists out there who are interested in uh, presenting their art here sure. to your gallery, I guess you could call it sure. a gallery, where could they contact you? Uh, you can direct us uh, directly through the, the story mail, which is info at godmonsters.com. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, that's the easiest way to get in touch with us. Or through our Facebook, of course. Uh, any of those uh, venues, just ask for Anna and uh, ask, ask her for information. And we'll definitely be posting, as, as these uh, events are coming up, we'll definitely be posting towards that end, so you guys will be in the know. We'd like to also go outside of that and, and do uh, sculpture and custom toys and things like that. There's, there's a lot of people that aren't getting noticed out there. Obviously, you've got the, the, the artists that are kind of in the public eye. But we want to get uh, people out there like like Jason Eaton. We talked about Jason Eaton. I would love to get some of his pieces in here. He's an uh, amazing model builder and uh, and build up artist. Uh, I would love to get his stuff featured. Uh, my buddy Spider is going to be will will definitely be a, a fixture here. But uh, we've we've got so much talent locally, and I I can't wait to show them off. There are people that won't accept when they go to the store and just purchase an action figure. People like to build their own, don't they? And they make their own little creations. They do, they do, yeah. There's, uh, again, so much talent out there uh, that's that's being kind of, I don't know, it's kind of 
laid to the wayside, and and I, I think that uh, putting them putting them under a harsh light and making people see them like, look, th these people are talented. These these people should be the ones that you're that you're looking at. You know, cast a light on the people that deserve it. You know, tell people where they can find you if they want to help the cause. Sure. Literally, we're down to hours on the uh, on the Indiegogo. It's Indiegogo.com slash help bring gods and monsters to life. Uh, there's still a chance to, to donate and get you some cool swag and, and help us out a little bit. There's also the Facebook page. There's also you have the YouTube page. There's also Twitter. the Twitter page. Yeah. All, all, all of that stuff is, is certainly a big help. Even if you can't give to the Indiegogo, please go there and share it. Uh, share it and maybe get it in front of somebody who can give that dollar. You know what I mean? Uh, that would be very, very helpful. I'm glad that you mentioned that. Share. Share this video. You oh, see yeah. it. Share it with friends. Share, share it on video. Facebook. The share video this you're video. Right now. The actual video you're watching, hit the share button on your Facebook page. Yeah. Send it to as many people. I mean, spreading the word is the, is the goal. It really is. That's the key, I think. I, th I think that a, that a share is almost just as important as the dollar. So, yeah. Okay, well, share with us, and we'll see you next week on the Gods and Monsters Network. Mm -hmm.